Hi guys, it's Shahzib of Ridi from GameLogix and this is part 32 of our tutorial series how to make Ludo game in Unity. Okay, so in the previous tutorial, uh, we have uh, created some uh, a few scripts for uh, handling our players. Okay, these scripts, okay. And uh, now, uh, we need to use them okay so let's go to our initialize dice method and let's uh, let's do let's use them okay so after switch let's uh, let's use them <coughs> now i need to check if our current player name if it contains oh okay so it's a method that can be used with strings okay if it contains if it has a red player okay like this then so it's general okay red player can be one two three or four so now we need to mention it specifically okay if it is if our of if our current player name if it's equal to okay if it's equal to uh, red player one okay then what do we need uh we need to assign that uh, value to our current player from where from our redo player one script red player one column name okay so that's it we need to know where our red player one is currently on a particular time where our red player one is okay so it will have this current player this current player this string data member will have that particular spot like whether we are on the safe zone like we are on the stop or the star or we are in some uh or we are uh on a block which is not a safe zone okay the blocks that are not the stars so they are basically they come in the category of danger zone okay so that can be spot 10 20 21 22 whatever okay whatever that might be okay so we have different names for our movement blocks okay so in this way we will know whether we can hit or strike our enemy player okay so in the same way let's copy this and check for our red player too okay if it's our red player too and this needs to be two okay And similarly, or red pair three, and this should be three as well. Okay, I have already created these scripts. Okay, let me show you. I have already done that work. Okay, see here. You only need to change this red player three and same in the case for four and also for green players. Okay, I have already done that coding. So yeah, let's cancel them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So same is the case with four.
Okay, and uh, four. Okay, so you are not for the red pair, and let's do the same thing for the green one. Okay, let's copy this. Yeah, let's copy this. And space right here. And we we do need to have a comment here, okay? Getting our uh, uh, current players value, okay? So. Yeah, it looks better this way. Okay. So let's change this for the green one. Not green. Green. Oh no. It should be a capital. Capital letter. Yeah. Let's copy this and paste it here. Okay, and let's change this as well. Green, Okay, green and green and green. There's a lot of duplicate code, and you will do the same for the blue one and the yellow one. Okay, so you do it yourself. And let's change them as well. Yeah, two and two and here three. And here three as well. Three and here four. Okay. And here four. Okay. So this was a short part. Okay, so this is it for this tutorial, guys. Uh, and if you really liked this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for uh, notifications and uh, if you have any confusion if you didn't understand anything let me know in the comments okay feel free to comment and uh, see you guys in the next uh, tutorial